is this thing? It may look like child's play, but to get three-year-old Molly to communicate this clearly took a lot of hard work. Her mom, Melanie, says it was clear early on that Molly had trouble turning thoughts into words. Between 14 and 18 months is really when I started noticing it. She wasn't saying her first word, wasn't babbling a lot before all that. Um, and it really just kind of gave me a clue something wasn't quite right. Even when Molly did start speaking, it didn't sound right. But for Melanie, it did sound familiar. Just two years ago, her son went through the same thing. Both kids were diagnosed with apraxia of speech, in which the words are there, but not always clear. For instance, mama might just be ah-ah, uh -uh, thank you might be ah-ooh. Uh and so you can kind of figure out what the child is saying, but there's the consonants are totally missing. Christina Dulling is a speech pathologist at Nationwide Children's Hospital. She says doctors aren't sure what causes apraxia of speech, but cases are on the rise. And the only way to control it is through intense therapy like this. No. So what signs should you be listening for? Experts say if your child isn't using words consistently by age two, take note. Speaking only in vowels or struggling with even simple words can also be warning signs. The problem is all kids struggle as they learn to speak and many parents wait for them to simply outgrow it. While that's very understandable, we want to see if this really is going to be a problem if the kid won't outgrow it. What we really want to see those kids as soon as we can and to help them as soon as we can. Because therapists worked with Molly early and often, she's now communicating loud and clear. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.